We're going to demonstrate today very briefly the usage of the DECTAC XT entry level to measure a step height of a, yeah, of a step height standard. Um, Um, we start, we turn on the electricity of the system here and then we start the Vision 64 software. In the meantime, we can open the enclosure and place our sample. We select the height range, um, which is correct. We lower the stylus onto the sample. Make sure that the, sample, the stylus will land on the correct spot of the sample. Then we navigate to the really intended measurement, measuring point. Maybe adjust the sample a bit. Oops. We select the measuring parameters, which are good, and we try make a preliminary scan to level the sample. So we have a tilt of 1000 nanometer. Check again. There's no effect. I'm still uh, adjusting the tilt of the sample hardware-wise. Uh, um, that is a procedure that can take easily a minute or more, but it is worth spending the time because it saves me from manipulating, manipulating data later software-wise. So we're slow in getting there. We can see we're almost there. And I think this should be the last one for leveling. Okay, now we adjust the starting position. Draw a little bit like this. Now the leveling is done. Now we, or the hardware leveling is done. The rest of leveling we will do with the software.
So we go to terms removal, place our cursors. say two point linear leveling and then we go to profile stats and define how we want to measure the step height. We place a reference cursor on the low plateau and the measurement cursor in the center of our elevated feature and then we click on edit settings and say please calculate the average step height with these cursors, cursor positions, calculate and we get our result in here, our average step height is 859.9 nanometer, where the specification says 860.3 nanometer. So we are very happy. That was measuring step height in a nutshell. Our roughness. Sorry? Roughness. Roughness as well. Mm. Now we need a different sample. Can you put that on it? Uh, let me see. Um, well, we can try to we can try to measure the roughness on the silicon. Let's navigate to another spot. I just say we measure the roughness here, whatever it may be. But I will have to look at the table in the mean. No, probably not. Probably all the settings are correct. Uh, probably. Um, so. To measure the roughness, we again select the smallest scan range. Um, we select a scan length. Now, anticipating that the roughness will be very low, I set it to 560 micrometer and take a measurement. I see that the leveling is pretty good um, and I let me do it again no it is done and then instead of using profile stats I select the filtered roughness analysis tool here and edit the settings I turn on the cutoff wavelengths I, since our roughness the roughness will be very small I take the smallest cutoff wavelengths um, I will have to check that later, but I expect that this will be the correct value. I go to uh, roughness profile and select what kind of roughness I want to measure, RA, and I make sure that we have our number of sampling lengths set to 5, but turn off auto select. And then I say and the point, and we select the proper filter type should be Gaussian if we want to follow the isonorm because that's what we're doing here all the time and then I say calculate uh -huh. what's wrong here this one please I say calculate and I got in my central five sevenths of the scan length I get the waviness profile and the roughness profile but I get the roughness calculated between the cursor positions, so all I have to do is now is adjust the cursor positions to that section of the scan where the waviness has been subtracted. That would be at one seventh, at six sevenths, and then I recalculate the roughness for these cursor positions. Simply click on calculate, close, and I can delete the old settings. And now I will always find my roughness between my RA roughness measured according to the uh, ISO norm on uh, one sev between one sevenths and six sevenths of the scan length, which has also been selected based on the ISO norm. How to remove the sample? How to remove the sample when I'm done with all the measurements? Go back to measurement, click on unload sample and automatically the tower will move to the top position and the scanner will move towards the user so I can remove the sample. 
And when this is done, I can turn off the software and turn off the electricity of the system.